Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniel. If you're new here, welcome. I showed up today. It's been a while since I posted. Here we are. Hopefully, hopefully, you like the new background. It's actually an Easter egg for what's to come. Um, just to let you know. Um, however, today I figured that we could read some comments on uh, this YouTube channel and then read comments on my ASMR YouTube channel because I, re I really wanted to kind of drive home the negativity from this channel that I have gotten so far uh, versus the positivity on my ASMR channel so that you can kind of see why I've wanted to do more ASMR videos because it's such a better environment. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to have an announcement where it's, it's, it's actually going to be about some upcoming really big changes for this channel. And if you want to either skip to the end of the video or if you want to just wait and watch this thing all the way through, it's completely up to you. Um, but I figured we could go ahead and get started and then I'll talk about the changes in uh, just a few minutes. And by a few minutes, I mean, you know, like, you know what, whatever. It's been a while since I've done this. Okay. Um, Ariella, I'm, I'm really bad at pronouncing names, so don't come for me. Don't, don't you do it. Ariella says, Ariel, Ariel, Ariella says, did you ask me a question on another video? And I, I, I didn't. Um, I have no idea where that came from. <laughs> this comment isn't exactly directed at me. Um, it's just a random comment. But DZ says, wait, is it true that you need a blank the $60 Philips hub or whatever the hell the name is to use this lamp as an app. Um, to answer your question, yes, you do. But that's only if you buy it separately, and which is not the right way to go. Um, they're talking about the Philips Hue. Um, you actually, the best bet for you, especially starting out, they've got two different starter kits. Um, one comes with regular LED Philips Hue bulbs um, with a Hue bridge. The Hue bridge plugs into your, what's that tower thing called? The internet tower thing. I can't remember what that's called. <laughs> Anyways, it plugs into that and then it communicates to your lights via your phone or you know, have, have whatever smart speaker, you can do it multiple ways. Um, but you can get the regular one that just do, d does different shades of white and then you can do the one that does different shades of white and color, which is the ones that I have. Um, I actually have that, that blue light, right? R ooh, right there, right in there. You see that? That is a Philips Hue light. Moving on, that was, that was way too long. An EC49 says, Sorry you got so many issues, but please get rid of that annoying background music. It is very irritating. Okay, well, first of all, 2020 is just going to be the year where I do things that I want to do. Um, and I, I put background music in my videos because I, number one, I like it. So it usually stays. Uh, number two... I just, I, I, I'm pulling from the inspiration I see on other tech videos usually. Um, but most other tech videos, they'll have B-roll heavily overlaid. Um, and then, you know, they'll have an A-roll set up, which is basically what this is right here, um, where I'm talking to you. And then on top of that, they will do background music which is what she's talking about. And for some reason, mine, anytime I render a video, my background music just comes out way too fucking high. There's no any background music in this. And actually going forward, which is gonna be a lot of the changes that I'm talking about um, at the end of this video, I'm probably not gonna have any background music on that anymore. We're gonna talk about that later. Moving on. Joachim Holmer, Joachim, 
joke him. Says, you need to buy a PC, question mark? No, I don't need to buy a PC. I actually have a PC and I haven't used it in years because I love my MacBook. Um, I love editing on my MacBook. I love doing my work work on my MacBook. I love doing my schoolwork on my MacBook. It's just like I, anything and everything. I prefer Mac over PC and I probably always will from this point out. The only reason that I would really want um, a PC, one of my dreams is to be able to have enough space and enough funds to build like a really big, super powerful, super, not like super computer, like the really big ass pictures, but like just a supercomputer that is just a really intense gaming PC to where I can do gaming. I want to have a big wrap around desk where I've got like multiple monitors up and to where I can have like 50,000 tabs open and they're all updating at the same time and nothing ever slows down and I can just like kind of have like a chill out room with a gaming room set up like that, that would be really nice I would be completely obsessed with that and that is on my bucket list Devon says that tablets wait a minute okay <laughs> he meant to say tablet I think but he said table but he said that table sucks bro for real it's mad laggy and slow as hell, and it can't run basic games without glitching or lagging. So I'm going to assume you meant tablet. And yeah, it is a little slow, but that is a tablet that I had sent to me, and it, it wasn't a sponsorship or anything like that. They just said, hey, yo, you want to do this review on this tablet? And I was really really into getting free stuff to review at the time because it you know this was was a tech channel and that's what i did um so i kind of pushed that and that's you know what i was working towards and was doing myths <laughs> says my boy got four fingers yes i do have four fingers great observation this is the last one that i'm gonna do on my channel and then i'm gonna do some comments on my asmr channel to bring Bring it up back up to bring the mood back up. Lucas says all screens of laptop have some flimsiness. All screens of laptop and MacBook screens is one of less flimsy. One of less flimsy. Plus you can restart your touch bar easily. They are not issue. They are not issue. Aside from the grammatical errors, <laughs> I am being such a bitch on this uh, episode, video, whatever. It's fine. Um, no, in that video, I was specifically talking about how I had my old MacBook and I had my new MacBook still at that time before I sold my old one. And I had my PC, um, which is also a laptop. And the newest MacBook is the most, is a lot more flimsy. Don't want to fuck that grammar up. A lot more flimsy. Er, flimsier, a lot more, a, a lot more unstable than what the other ones did, or what the other ones had, um, which scared me because when I first got a brand new MacBook, the screen started flickering on and off and going in and out, and I ended up having to take it back to Apple and get a brand new laptop per their request, not even mine. They didn't offer to fix it. They was like, oh, this is a known issue. Let's take it back. And that's one of the reasons why I was kind of scared about it being as flimsy as it was because I've had a screen issue with this specific laptop in the past before. So no, they're not all that flimsy because I'm, I, I don't know why, they're just not. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to reading comments on my ASMR channel because I literally get nothing but positivity I, I get nothing but positivity on my ASMR channel. It's actually growing a lot faster than I thought. Um, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I just, I, I really think that people can see that I genuinely like making the videos and that makes a difference. All right, so Brino, Bruno, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm names, names. Hey Daniel, I'm really loving your ASMR channel. Heart, keep doing the videos. Thank you. I appreciate you. You know what? If you throw me some positivity, I'm going to throw you some back. I really appreciate you saying that. I'm really glad that the videos are nice and you like them. And I am going to keep making them because they make me happy and I love that they make you happy. 
LG Cook says, whispers on point as always. By the way, someone does read the descriptions on your videos. What business are you trying to start? That Okay, LG Cook, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, so my camera decided to die. How rude. But that's okay. The show must go on. I was really feeling that positive comment. Um, so <clears throat> it's funny that you ask that, LG. I'm going to touch base on that toward the end of this video. Um, so I'm going to hold off on answering that, but it's actually really nice to know that you read the description boxes of my videos because in all of my ASMR videos, I've decided that I'm going to put a, like a description about, you know, how I'm kind of feeling that day. Um, what's been going on lately in my life and just kind of, you know, chat with you guys and just use that description box as an opportunity to communicate even more with you. So that way you get the ASMR video and then you get me actually talking to you. Um, so I'm going to start doing that. I probably will start doing that on this channel as well because I'm going to start picking up filming again, as you can tell all of the hard work that I've done on this. So, <laughs> you know, I love you guys and I'm going to let you know at the end of that video because I'm going to read some more positive comments. All right. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya sounds really pretty. So I'm going to go with that. If it's wrong, I am very sorry. See ya says, thank you for the great video, my friend. Have a blessing day. You have a good day too. You know what? I hope all of your days are good. And I just want to thank you for being positive and personal and appreciative because you actually do comment on a lot of my videos and I'm very happy that you were positive. KYEJX says 5 a.m. here in my country. Time to watch my favorite ASMR channel. That makes me feel so good. Makes me feel so good. Uh, you know, and to be honest with you, you could have 10 different favorite ASMR channels. Like you don't have to have just one. Um, but I'm really happy that I am one of them and I'm really happy that you are subscribed to me. And you know, it just, it just makes me feel happy with all of this positivity. Um, every single comment is like that on my other channel. The reality of it is almost 100% of these negative comments that are coming from my channel here are not, they're not even subscribed to me. A lot of them are trolls, but I thought it would be fun to at least bring you some positivity and show you the positivity that I'm getting on my other channel. Um, because, you know, it's strange to me that in the tech world, you can have so much negativity. You can accidentally pronounce something while doing a review video or just doing an update video and 5,000 people are going to comment on it and say horrible things. I, I've had people comment and say, I don't like the sound of your voice and I hope you die. Well, first of all, I don't give a rat's ass if you don't like the sound of my voice unsubscribe to my channel. That's not, I, I don't make YouTube videos so that you can hopefully like the sound of my voice. I make YouTube videos because I love creating content and I like making content. I love editing. I love everything. Setting this up was the highlight of my day and I had so much fun doing it and then turning on the camera to make sure everything looks aesthetically pleasing. I loved it. It, it was one of my favorite things to do today. Um, so that entire process I love, and, and that is one of my passions. And if I can do that and I can push that and just like try to make a career out of that, I'm going to. Um, my next video after this is going to go into detail about, you know, how I'm feeling, how I came to the conclusion that you're about to get. Um, 
And, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that in the next video because I don't want to just like jump into a, a, a huge sidebar. But I really just wanted to bring you, and if you're watching this, you, some positivity. Um, I wanted to show you negative comments versus positive comments. And I was, I just kind of wanted to make it very clear that especially in our current economic state with COVID going on, um, with the whole like, you know, black lives matter movement. And I'm just going to go ahead and call it a movement cause that's what it is. Um, and you know what, if, if you say all lives matter, move on. Go, go. Yes, all lives matter, but that's not the issue here right now. Black lives matter because black lives are being treated as if they don't. And that's why it's black lives matter. That's why it's black lives matter. Anyways, that's a huge topic to go into that I, like, I didn't really anticipate going into. I just like going on to sidebars. So now that we've kind of gotten to the end of this video. This actually isn't really that long of a video. Um, I kind of want to talk about my year so far um, and the changes that are going to be really, really big that are kind of going to go on to this channel. Probably starting November of last year, I was really, really not in a good mindset. I was struggling. And that's kind of when I started getting into um, ASMR. Um, because I was getting depressed, I was getting, uh, my anxiety was peaking, I had a, a huge amount of stress on my plate, um, and I wasn't happy, and the things that I fell in love with, I fell out of love with, and, you know, my next video is going to be very detailed, but the bottom line here is, I didn't fall out of love with tech, but I fell out of love with filming tech. And I don't want to film tech anymore. You know, I tried to make myself do it this year. And I thought that if I pushed myself and that I saw, so, you know, subscribers growing and numbers growing, that I would be happy. Um, and that's not the case. You know, my subscribers are growing. My... Um, Watch times are good. Everything is good and steady and I'm on track, but I'm not happy. So, th you know, that's one of the reasons that I pushed myself to start the ASMR channel because it was something that I was passionate about and that I actually really like to do. So I'm going to keep doing that. I post videos multiple times a week. It started out as Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I am having some health issues that I really need to get straight. And I'm stressing myself a lot about starting this business, which I'm going to get into in a second as well. But long story short, um, it is going to be kind of related to my business, but this channel is no longer tech right. And when you're seeing this, I know the banner says tech right. That's actually, it might, that might not even be up when you're watching this, um, but that's going to go. Um, I actually found that there was a company that's already named TechRight, and they've copyrighted it, and they've uh, tra trademarked it, copy what it, whatever you do to names, they they've done it. And honestly, it didn't really hurt me that much. Um, it didn't bother me because it was just kind of like the last straw on you know I I had one last leg to stand on, and that just kind of. And that's okay. That's okay. Because it pushed me into making the decision that I probably should have made a while ago. Um, I know that I'm going to lose some subscribers on here because this is no longer going to be a tech channel. Um, I'm going to keep my other channel completely. My SMR channel, that's here to stay. That's not going anywhere. Because that is really like a form of meditation for me. And I really like that. This... I'm actually going to be doing some, and like, I can't believe that this is happening because I'm literally going from one spectrum of YouTube to the other, <laughs> but I want to focus on making plant videos because that is the business that I've started. Um, so house plants are booming right now. 
rare aeroids, which is what I'm going to be focusing on, uh, is booming right now. Um, and I'm not doing it because it's booming. I've been collecting houseplants for years and I've been like my senior year of high school, I placed number fourth in the state on botany classification. Um, and I like took a big, huge test. We had to drive to like the state capital and I placed fourth out of like hundred and something people because I just loved doing it. Um, and it's just, it's just an interest of mine. Um, I'm really bitter about placing fourth, by the way, I didn't get a ribbon. I just got announced. Uh, but that's okay. So, you know, I've been learning and doing research and I decided to start my own business, which is uh, just, you know, selling plants online right now. I would love to have a physical location and maybe someday, um, maybe someday that can actually happen for me. But right now, what I want to do, um, I want to take the time to educate myself and I want to take the time to educate you. And I'm going to be doing rare plant hauls. I'm going to be doing information based what you need to know what's currently going on. You know, there's a wide spectrum of things that I'm going to do and what I can do. Um, but I, you know, a lot of that is going to be focused around there. I'll have some giveaways. I'll have, you know, like I'm just, I'm really excited about what I'm going to do and I'm going to show you guys and kind of walk you through a little bit about how I'm starting my business. Um, because I honestly was going to kind of just do it as a little bit of a hobby thing during COVID. And I ended up accumulating like 60 plants or so. And I released a soft launch on social media. And over the course of three days, I sold out of all of my plants. They were all sold out. So then I was rushing and I had to spend like an entire week shipping and calculating shipping and boxing things up appropriately and running things to the post office because I didn't anticipate this sellout. Um, so I spent all week stressing myself out, spending all day long packaging things like they're supposed to be so that they'll be alive. Um, I was trying to get my logo done, which it is done. I'm, you know, there's just, there's so many things I'm working on getting my website set up. Um, I'm and like on top of doing that, I knew right then and there that I was going to be, um, converting this channel over because I was like, you know what? I'm not, I love tech. I'm, I don't love making tech videos. Um, I love making plant videos. I love making ASMR videos and that's weird. My interests are very far and spread out. I'm a very strange person, but strange is the new normal apparently. So well, we're going to go with it. Anyways, details in the next video coming up. Um, so I kind of wanted this to be a little bit of like a farewell to tech. And again, details are going to be in the description box below. They will. Um, and, you know, I'm going to have everything kind of set up in the next video. Any questions that you may have, drop them down below. I will answer them in my next video because I actually haven't filmed that yet. I'm going to film that in a couple days from you seeing this um, because I want to structure that right and I want to make sure that I tell you correctly everything that's going on. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my business and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my channel because my channel and my business are going to be like just they're just going to be just as as important as each other and i love them so i'm going to take you on that journey with me um but I, this video is way too long um i hope that you have a great day and i hope that uh you know whatever you do in life stay safe make good choices and i've been really obsessed with bailey sarian lately so Get better idols.